All right, we're taking a tour today. I am gonna be touring around Fort DeSoto Park, which just happens to be one of my very favorite places in the entire state of Florida. And you are going to be taking a tour of Tara, my mini vamper, who also happens to be one of my very favorite places. So um, let's head to camp and I will show her to you. All right, we're gonna start with the front. In the door, I have a survival tool and a screwdriver and napkins. I have some pepper spray, a lantern that can charge either with USB or solar, some disposable masks and gloves, some bug wipes, hand sanitizer, extra water bottle, some lens cleaner, and my tire gauge. I normally keep my camp sandals there, but I'm wearing them at the moment. And then I have a boot scraper under my seat so that I can avoid tracking dirt all through the rest of the vehicle from my hikes. Um, I do have some spare ties and masks there. They're smoky. I have a trash can with some tissues and extra trash bags. Um, an inverter that I can do a 110, a couple of USBs, and a couple of 12 volts if needed. And then in here is where I keep my extra battery banks, some Benadryl, ibuprofen, Excedrin, and then my most frequently used cords and chargers, uh, my sunglasses, and then in there, aside from my car charger, I just have some stuff like a uh, glass cleaning cloth, some cash, um, a Tide stick, stuff like that. All right, let's go around the other side. All right, now we're gonna do this side, and you can see I do have the rain guards installed. Um, they definitely come in handy, and in fact, we're supposed to get rain tonight, so definitely glad I have those. Um, and this door, I just have an umbrella, poncho, windshield cleaner, some dehumidifier bags, the bamboo charcoal ones. Um, I have my dry cooler snack bag for easy access up front, and then once I'm at camp, I'll normally move it into the back with me. I keep my extra water supply up here in my water bottles. Um, my Jackery 240 I'll keep up here in case I need to charge anything when I get out of the car, um, like for a hike or something. Um, under here, I have some a winter hat and gloves, um, binoculars, my first aid kit. Um, I keep my windshield sunshade tucked there. Oh, and then on this side, I have that Amazon tray that goes on the steering wheel that everybody has. And I highly recommend that seat cushion, by the way. It's one of those um, memory foam gel cushions for lumbar support. Super helpful for long drives. I use a hook to keep my bag for easy access, and then I have a carabiner in case I need to put my hiking backpack up here. Um, I sling for my camera. I love carabiners. I've got one for my hat as well. And I keep a couple of microfiber towels for messes or my windshield. I also have a squeegee and a couple of spare towels under the seat if I need them. And that's pretty much it for the front. I try to keep it nice and simple and boring up here so that it's not too enticing if anybody looks in. Okay, now that I've shown you the front, we are going to look at the inside of my home. I didn't do anything to level the floor. I just have a couple of yoga mats down um, to protect my knees when I'm crawling around inside and then a couple of washable rugs. And this is actually a bathroom mat, um, but so far it works fine. This is a little side table that I have bungeed in place um, just for extra counter space uh, for either preparing stuff or just to set like my laptop or anything like that on it. I, love surface space. <laughs> um, I keep my window treatments in here, which are just my magnetic curtains. Um, you can see I have one partially up right now. I just have it um, open at the moment, but they just adhere with magnets. So I do like those for the second row windows because they're really easy to put on and off. 
and then I can keep it partially open um, when I want to. I keep a little mini broom and dustpan behind the seat, as well as a couple of wet dry bags for anything that I want to conceal, like smells for, or um, like if I have wet stuff that I don't want um, to get the car wet, stuff like that. I have a vacuum and a step stool because I'm short. And then this is my toilet, which I actually mainly just use as extra surface space or a seat most of the time, but it is ready to go. I have compostable bags and cedar shavings in there just in case I do need to use it as a toilet. And I have, I've only used it once, but it's actually really comfortable. So highly recommend, I got that on Amazon too. Um, all of my cushions, for the most part, are empty pillowcases that I use to store uh, spare bedding, my winter coat, blankets, um, pajamas, stuff like that. And then that cart back there is actually something I repurposed from my office that was basically just storing junk. Um, so now it's my kitchen and pantry and all of like my entertainment and lighting. Here, let me get in here so I can show you. In there I just have um, like my vitamins, extra containers, bowls, napkins, instant coffee. Um, I have a few easy to grab snacks that are not in my snack bag in case I just need something back here. Um, I just keep some extra reusable bags. And then I have my instant coffee for when I am too lazy to do the pour over which I do have in here as well. It's a little collapsible one. And that's also where I keep my electric tea kettle, although that's out now because I just made coffee. And then in there's my portable DVD player, um, some DVDs. That's where I keep my lighting before I set it up at camp. Um, so basically just my entertainment and lighting. And then down the bottom one, it's easy to get to if I move the ottoman, but I just keep like extra chargers and stuff that I don't need very often in there. This is a storage ottoman, which I keep like towels and my hammock and stuff like that in, but it's also my seating area. I have a little oil diffuser, carbon monoxide detector. My little pen holder is also my key stand so that I don't lose my keys. And then I have just one USB fan up there for now since it's been pretty cool lately, but I do have uh, two for when it's hot because it's Florida. All right, let's go around back. Now, before I show you the view from the back, I did want to show you my little quick fix that I use for keeping my hatch open so that I don't have to mess with my tailgate tent, which I still have yet to use. It's just super cheap mosquito netting for like $5 that I tied on here and then I just put a couple of magnets up here to hold it in place so it takes me like 30 seconds to set up. Very effective. Okay and this is the normal view from the back here. I have my new Alpacool C20 which I love. It is such a game changer compared to using a cooler. Um, I'll just give you a little peek so you can see kind of stuff you can fit in. Um, it does fit like a full gallon of milk. And then I just have my little lap desk um, and this is where I keep my mosquito netting when I'm not using it. I just, just got these this week. They're my custom fit Reflectix uh, WeatherTech window covers. And oh my gosh, they are awesome. I currently have them in my third window where I keep them all the time. And I will use the back one here in a second as well because I did not like my solution for my back window before. This kind of gives you a look at what I use for my bedding. It's just the mattress that came with the cot and then I have a self-inflating air mattress as a topper and just twin bedding. And then I have a zero degree sleeping bag on top for now which it's not cold enough for today i'm just sleeping on top of it because it's comfy and 
my main water supply, which I do have a USB sink pump for my hiking backpack and my Garmin inReach for if I'm ever without service or have an emergency. I keep my pop-up tent slid in there for if I need it. I'll just take another little view through here. And I can access the fridge from either inside or outside, so I really like having it right there. All right, I'm just gonna show you the side, even though I very rarely go in this door. Um, I can get to everything either from here or from in the inside. I just have my back cushion, my books, some coloring books. That's where I keep my spare food supply and pantry items that I don't use regularly. My tailgate tent I was telling you about. This is just my garage, which has my toolkit, some bungees and carabiners, fire extinguisher, paper plates, basically um, my extra fan, a little electric heater, some air freshener, thermosel, basically everything I might possibly need. And then I do have my car emergency kit under there as well, which has um, the air compressor and just things like that that I hope I never have to use in my uh, emergency battery jumper, stuff like that. And then lastly, I did want to give you um, a little bit of info on my bed, aside from the bedding itself. It is a Coleman Camp cot, so you can see it has tons of storage. I'm actually not using the back half at all for storage at the moment, so I do plan to keep all of my outdoor living stuff back there once I get it, um, like my table and chairs and pop-up gazebo, but I have my Jackery 1000, which is my power system, my shower bag, my clothes drawer, and again, I can get everything either from the outside or inside. And I did put up my curtain just so you can see what it's like at night. And then I'll just close those for privacy. So I don't really put coverings on the front window if I'm at a campsite, um, since the curtains offer me the privacy that I need, and uh, I just don't really have a need for it. I just feel like I get more ventilation that way. Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to check back in for a quick second since I didn't really close this out yesterday. Um, it's about 6 o'clock the next morning and I'm getting ready to start my day, but I did realize that the little intro clip that I filmed, uh, the sound was just not there, so uh, you guys would not have been able to hear my description of my no build. So I just kind of wanted to give you a couple of quick details before closing this out. Um, Tara is a 2017 Dodge Grand Caravan. And it is a part-time, no-build um, micro camper that I've converted her into. So um, basically, she is to get me around the state so that I can explore better um, the places that I don't normally get to on my short day trips, as well as to start traveling all around the country and seeing the amazing natural spaces we have here at our disposal. Um, she is normally a seven-passenger minivan, though, so... I would say it takes me about one hour, maybe a little less actually, to go from seven passenger minivan to um, steep, to have the seats stowed and loaded up and ready to back out of the driveway on my next adventure. So super cheap, super easy, super fast. Um, I just want everybody to know how easy and accessible it can be to start this type of lifestyle and to be able to start traveling around and exploring places. 
I um, do realize that there's a large number of people for um, whom this is not a choice. They may have been forced into full-time vehicle dwelling um, out of necessity or other circumstances. So I do just want to acknowledge that I, I am aware of the fact that I'm privileged to be able to uh, choose this as a means to fulfill a dream of mine and not something that I have to do. I do know that that can make it a little bit different for everybody. So by no means am I an expert in full-time vehicle dwelling or know the ins and outs of everybody else's circumstances and what might work best for everybody. This does work really well for me though. And I feel that a lot of the solutions and um, set up components that I showed you are ones that can easily translate to anybody regardless of full-time, part-time, whatever your circumstances may be, whatever vehicle you might have. Um, most of the items in here are either repurposed or multi-purpose, so it's very practical. And my hope by showing this video is that people who may be toying with the idea of doing this themselves realize how easy, accessible, and affordable it is to get started right now and to stop putting off their dreams. Um, for those of you that are already doing this, I'm hoping that maybe one or two things you saw you might find useful or a good idea that you might be able to utilize yourself. So again, I just want to thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate you watching and I hope you enjoyed Tara as much as I do. I will see you guys next week. Thanks again. Bye.